Welcome to IBC 2024. Discover game-changing innovations, explore new business models, and network with over 170 countries right here in Amsterdam. So Scott, it's day three of IBC. How's the show going so far? It is going really well. Um, every year, it's, things shows have been getting busier and busier, and it seems like people are ready to come back uh, to conferences, and it's, uh, it's great to see it shoulder to shoulder walking through the halls. Absolutely, there's been a real buzz this year. So tell me, how is KIB positioned in the broadcast and media industry? Yeah. Uh, so KIB is a low-code integration and automation platform. So there are a lot of options for integrating kind of all of these different services that you see uh, in, uh, in uh, you know, media technology. There's software development, there is uh, kind of orchestration tools that are kind of features of other platforms. There's no code platforms. Kib is what we like to consider a low code platform. So uh, when it comes to complexity, you have kind of software development on one side, no code on the other side, and we're low code, which means it, you don't have to be a full stack software developer in order to integrate these systems, uh, but you can also bring that same complexity uh, that's necessary from kind of really compl complicated software development to this tool without, without the uh, kind of full stack software development knowledge. And what are you seeing unfolding when it comes to trends in the industry, and what are you doing to meet the demands of those trends? Yeah, so it's funny to say it, you're still seeing a lot of services still kind of looking to migrate to the cloud that were uh, you know, previously on-premise. And with that comes the need to integrate via API. So on the one hand, you have these large platforms that are becoming cloudified, but you also see lots of smaller services also operating almost exclusively in the cloud via API. And when you have lots of customers or buyers at these conferences walking around, you know, one of their barriers to purchase is integration. So they may want to use this new tool that'll help help them improve their operations, lower their costs, sometimes driving new revenue, but they have to think about the projects necessary in order to integrate into their uh, kind of their, their technology portfolio. So um, that's where we're seeing low-code platforms like Kib be able to service these customers so that kind of barrier to integration, that barrier to innovation is lowered quite a bit. So they can really come here and look at something they really want and actually just go uh, test with it and buy it without having to worry about integrating it. And what are you showcasing here this year at IBC? Uh, so, so this year we're, we like to talk about our, the use cases, but a couple of new features that we have are, uh, one is uh, ISO compliance, so we are about to be certified for ISO uh, 27001, which uh, obviously is a requirement for uh, broadcasters and media companies with critical media. They're not going to just you know, trust a vendor that's not secure. So uh, that's one of the announcements that we're going to make. As far as features, uh, kind of keeping on that same uh, on the same uh, vein of keeping things secure and monitored. We have new monitoring tools. Uh, our customers previously had to build their own monitoring tools with Kib, but now they're going to come embedded in the platform. So just uh, standing up their workflows, they're going to be fully monitored from, uh, um, from beginning to end, including new, uh, new logging tools as well. Can you give us some greater context into who this is for and what the future use perspective cases are? Yeah. So. Uh, this is for anybody who operates within the media technology space. So if you have critical media and you have kind of complicated portfolios, but you may have some downward pressure on pricing and kind of the days of having really large engineering teams may not be you know, part of your, uh, uh, you know, a part of your strategy, that's where kind of KIB comes into play. You're really there to help improve innovation, make your technology portfolio more efficient uh, and be able to kind of focus focus on what you do best, which is creating content, rather than operationalizing your content. And Scott, what do you think the future holds for Kib? Um, we're going to the moon. Uh, you know, Kib, you know, we're, we're relatively new in the space uh, for the last couple years, but um, we hear a lot of buzz. It's really welcoming. We're seeing a lot more folks coming to our booth having heard of us, rather than wanting to know more. So, um, you know, the, the options are endless. So as long as there's going to be uh, the need for integrating systems, which it, 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 that only increases, uh, you know, we see a lot of success in the future. Very exciting times. Thank you so much yeah. and enjoy the rest of IBC. Thank you. Great, thanks.